Hey everybody, how you doing? I want to take a chance here to talk a little bit about a book I've recently read by Brant Menzoir called Black Sheep. It's not a new book, but boy, this book has completely opened my eyes to some new thinking that shifts so much of what I've learned so much in life. And so while I'm not going to get into every single detail, I'm going to keep this video somewhat short, I do want to share a couple things as it might be a spark for you to read the book and maybe challenge some of your previous held notions. And the the gist of, of Black Sheep is thinking that about how we live in a world where we are often striving to fit in, whatever that means. And the book challenges us to take a moment to maybe celebrate standing out, to be that black sheep and why that's important. And as we think about that, you know, so much of society, even though we talk a lot about finding yourself, being yourself, being authentic, you know, there is a lot of negativity built around being a black sheep, being something that's not the widget in the ecosystem like everyone else. And what if we set instead started to see being a black sheep as a symbol of authenticity, you know, of originality, and to celebrate that our uniqueness is actually not a flaw, it's our greatest strength. And while this is not an AI rant by any means, I, I'm thinking about this through the beauty of the landscape of AI of how even more important this idea actually is because everything can start to look the same if we're not careful all right hot take put aside so as we think about our uniqueness being a strength and not a flaw you know reflection's key and it's it's not about dwelling on the past of things that have brought us here to this moment this present time but learning from it and understanding where we've been and how that sets the stage for where we're going and the thing that got me the most, there was a couple key ideas, is that he focuses on the what more than the why. And everything I've learned has been identify your why, find your why, what's the why before you do the what. And he inverses this. And that our core values define us more deeply than our reasons or motives. And that they actually you know, become the bedrock of our true selves. That every decision and every action needs to align with these values. And sometimes we, we, we can lose sight of our, our own journey and path. And this isn't about having intentions. He talks a lot about we need deliberate intentions and the difference between drifting and purposely steering our lives. And something was another aha for me is that something that I've been guilty of here recently is that we're not here living life trying to find purpose. Finding purpose isn't a discovery. It's a choice. It's a reflection of what we value most. And really, that's the act of, of, of ultimate authenticity. So we need to embrace vulnerability. It's the doorway to understanding who we truly are. And this requires honesty. And even as uncomfortable as it sometimes feels, honesty with ourselves because that does unlock our true essence. And this then leads us to the next step of surrounding ourselves with those that uplift and inspire us. And we've seen about the research around, you know, who's in your circle, the five closest people to you. And this gets me thinking a lot more about my own self concepts here of, of thinking about living in the now. And that peace does lie in the present, not living in the past or the uncertainties of the future. And to remember that, you know, the thing that I have started to write in almost everything on a daily is that real change requires real effort. It is a commitment um, to aligning our actions with our deepest values consistently. So it's not just about being different for the sake of being different. It's about being authentically, unapologetically ourselves. And in a world that often values conformity, dare to be the black sheep, dare to live a life that is truly yours. And so this year, wherever you are in your journey, let's make a promise to ourselves to embrace that inner black sheep, to live authentically and fearlessly. Because when we honor our true selves, we don't just change our own lives. We inspire those around us to do the same. 
so this is just a quick little thought. I do plan to expand upon this and go deeper in a deeper dive of the podcast and my thoughts and ideas. But I just wanted to get those out now um, because it feels good. And I hope that maybe some of these ideas resonate with you. So let me know what you think. Questions, thoughts, ideas, things that uh, stood out to you in this. And I'm, I'm working on building out a more robust, deeper dive into these concepts from this book and just other things that I've been gathering and reading lately. So as always, my friends, stay awesome. And uh, I look forward to hearing your ideas.